mic on your head. Get hype. Yo, <laughs> Jesus. I don't know how to go. Yo, yo, relax. There just for a second, but we got Ling versus Quid here on Battlefield <laughs> to start game number one, dude. And this is a... I'm really curious. I, I would assume Quid won the RPS to start on the stage because, like, as, as defensive as Ling plays, and I know he does enjoy this oh. stage, like, it, you don't have... Like, the landing options that Squirtle has can be so annoying for people to deal with. Oh, yeah. Like, it just benefits Ivysaur especially so much more. Oh, yeah. No, the thing I saw, like, in this uh, last set with Jack with a 3-0 victory, right? Link's movement on this stage was very, very crisp, right? He was using those wave landings on the platform. I'm definitely seeing why he's feeling very comfortable here after going three games on Battlefield back to back to back. But now Quid looking to make his stake his claim, like, yo, if you want to go to Battlefield, I'm all with it, man. I'm feeling the I'm feeling the spirit of my entire region on my back. I'm looking to put this pressure on. He's looking to close out the stock. But Ling takes stock number one of winner's finals. Yeah, no, his Ling loves looking for just a raw backer in that situation, especially on the first stock. Hawk just when you're not quite ready for just a raw option, that situation, the Peach Bomber coming out to get out of disadvantage, and now just finding a combo, getting a Nair into that grab, finding the back air for stage control, and we're seeing Ling play pretty aggressive versus Quid, which is really interesting, because normally Ling is like the king of defensive play. Oh yeah. I think the, the thing you can really take advantage of in this matchup mm -hmm. is Peach is really good at stopping this character, considering that you know, they both have the same weaknesses. Thing that Peach can really get in there and stop PT before PT has the time to think. Quid is really good at setting the pace of the game. Both these players are really good at setting the pace of the game. But Ling, realizing that like he has to take it first, he has to take the crown. Be like, yo, this game is mine to win. I gotta make you second guess every dash. And the dash attack not gonna do it there. But yeah, as you were saying, right? Both players have the ability to set the pace of the game. But with with float and with turnip, right? Ling does have a little bit of an advantage Ooh. in doing so. Finding the down tilt into the forward air, Charizard in that position just doesn't have anywhere to go. And now Ling finding a ledge trap again, maybe, no. Quid finding his way back to stage. Beautiful platform movement by Ling there, just floating around it to find his way back to stage for just a second. Three stock to one lead against Quid, man. Ling doing such a good job. Yeah. Quid struggling to close the stock out here right now. Lending with a Nair into dash attack. Wow, this is so much. Literally, uh, the, the thing about watching Ling is that, like, you'll be watch, you'll look at his opponent, right? You'll think about something to say. You look back, and they took 40%. Like, where did that come from? Yeah, no, absolutely. He doesn't. He doesn't. Exactly. But at the same time, it's only 40, right? He has those 0 to 100s, and the Squirtle up. He's going to kill, but, oh, uh, uh, oh, oh, oh. uh, Quid? Quid? So it's right. It's right. That, that didn't even... Technical difficulties. What? Yeah. I, I don't know if that was technical difficulties. He dashed off and fast fell into the blast zone. He had his jump, everything. I think he just was like, okay, it's not a three stock. Well, let's go next. No, no, it's a, everybody gets one. It's okay. He, okay, he, every, he, everyone gets one? Everyone, everyone gets one. Everyone Great. gets one. Okay, every, yeah. everyone gets one. Quid opting, looking, deciding to go to small battlefield. He was thinking about going back there for a second. You saw him hovering over it, but ultimately just opting remo to remove that top platform from play. A fight in a little bit more close quarters. But the interesting thing about Biplats is that Peach kind of, with the lead, can at least in theory float camp you. With Ivysaur, however, oh my. Wait, that's a character that can actually threaten that Oh space. my god. And, oh no, Ling. Oh my Ling. god, Quinn, you Ling. Ling. That's a, and you, if you just saw in the player cam, Quid patting himself down, and that's a stitch face to boot. Oh Ling god. has RNG oh. on his side. He's got the game on the side, but right now just finding a combo. Didn't get much off the stitch, but it didn't even matter. I know Connecticut's going crazy in oh my, right now. Oh my god. Well, I mean, they're all going crazy in the venue. We got so many people here. We have three freaking carpools in the house tonight. And Quid not even able to find the Razor Leaf here. It just, he hasn't been able to hit Ling. Ling's micro spacing here in his defense has been so good. Just willing to sit in shield, willing to dare Quid to come. Oh, um, there him, we but... go. That's the Quid special, yep. right? Catching the air dodge mm -hmm. with the vine whip. It's immediately finding a forward and up air. Very good stuff to Quid. Now reclaiming that lead, trying to get a, anything started against Ling right now. But man, that dot eyes in hand, you've definitely got to be careful. Oh, wait a minute. Yep. Ivysaur combo, wait a minute. But that's 50%, and there's a reason they call him Quid Ivysaur. This man is Ooh. going around the house, but only into Greninja. the blast zone. That was a Greninja combo. Right? Yeah, no. Oh my god. And Ling looking for a turnip combo. He had the opportunity to coast to coast, but an uncharacteristic drop from him is gonna give Quid another lease on life here. Only 30%. Maybe not what Ling wanted, but 
Quid just overextending, getting reversal back in the corner. He had an opportunity to maybe find a stock with Ivysaur's or his fantastic offstage advantage state, but just not able to close it out. And Ling just managing to hold on to this lead. It feels like Quid just hasn't really been able oh, to get it. Oh, there we go. But right as I say that, right? Quid coming in, finding the Vine Whip, and just like that, Momo, we are at an even game. The scariest thing about fighting Quid is his insane conversions, right? Like, he'll find, literally, you'll be at any percentage. He'll find back air into Vine Whip, he'll some crazy, like, down throw into up air. Some, some, some insane shenanigans, right? We saw earlier down smash to the ledge. Quid, yeah, he has back air conversions. Like, what's going on here? Well, I, you know the crazy thing right now is that, I don't know if you noticed, but Quid's just been playing Ivysaur this game. He played Squirtle a little bit at the start, and then just switched to Ivysaur and really hasn't switched back. Like, and the, finding the turnip into oh. the grab, into the fourth row, Vine Whip, really good stuff from Quid, but Ling able to get out of that second Vine Whip, finding his way through all the pressure, and now, oh, that was such a oh. beautiful what, Vine hello? Whip mix-up. He's just swimming the Charizard, trying to save a little longer, but right now he has this, and it's gonna be another, oh my never gosh. mind. Quid's absolute, Chicanery at that ledge right oh there. I don't know what the hell he was cooking. Yeah. He was, I mean, it, it, right, you, you, you just are, you're so scared of Ling in that situation, the way game one went, right? And the way that set started. Ling just found edge guard after edge guard after edge guard on Quid. Yeah. And one of the benefits of Ivysaur is you get three recoveries, right? You get Vine Whip, and if you tether cancel, you can switch, and you still have that extra Charizard oh. jump. So just using it as a little bit of a ledge stall, finding his way back, throwing off Ling's timing. I, I see what he went for, and, and Ling now saying, you know what? Sure, you got a game, but like, let's go right back. I, who needs, like, this might have been your counter pick, but like, sure. Sure, why not? It's all right. Quid definitely picking up the pieces mm -hmm. slowly but surely. And now, as you said last game, you know, Optic for the Ivysaur only, I definitely really agree with this pick, right? The yep. one thing that Peach genuinely really struggles with is lack of range. Yes. Right? And Ivysaur is the range Pokemon. Mm -hmm. Squirtle's the brawler. Charizard is the, is the dirty, heavy cheeser. Mm -hmm. And Ivysaur is the range guy. Yeah, I, I was sort of right, a sword character, zoner, all in one, doesn't have the best neutral, but makes up for it with a fantastic advantage state. Able to find Edgar so early, but right now just kind of at that perfect weight where you can't, you're not a fast faller, but you're kind of heavy, you got a big circular body, and Ling is gonna hit you seven days a week, racking on the percent, but Quinn managing to find his way back to stage just for a second before Ling, these players are going back and forth on this, like reversals out off the ledge so fast, it's so hard to keep track of what's going on, Momo. Oh my god, they're definitely really struggling here. Link takes that first stock of game number three. I know we're gonna see another 3 up from Ling, right? I mean, we might, right? Like, Ling has all the confidence in the world and only shows you respect when you give it to him. The up throw gonna take the stock, and now, right? Quid got one, brought this back to even. He can make something happen, finding his way off ledge, but and I'm finding a little bit of a rare overextension from Ling is gonna get the reversal. Oh, again, another Ooh. one, and that's gonna be no! Not just yet, so close. Nice DI there from Ling hanging on. But now this Ivysaur at the ledge. The down smash coming out, yep. the peach killer, and that's, yeah, you're not making that. Yep. Uh, you might, you oh. might, you're drifting to ledge. Oh, yep. wow, yeah, the no, spacing. Ling's ability to just drift back and forth, knowing the, he knows the exact spacing with this character, where he can grab ledge. Perfectly aware of that hitbox and just great character awareness from him there. Now he has an advantage, a potential to maybe find something here. Quit dropping that his own combo. That's that's a you know a rarity, but what can he make happen here? Finding an up air gonna make take the stock, and this is the first lead we've really seen Quit have all set. Oh yeah, finally taking the lead here in this game three. Looking to slowly but surely bring his way back up. Remembering that you need to win three games in a row if you want to put yourself at the winner side of Rands. Oh, the triple up air though. Quid's looking pretty damn fine right now. Ling being thrown into the background. Looking, he needs to take the stock relatively soon. You cannot let Quid with all his extra credit. Absolutely, man. and if you notice, one of the things, right, this game, Quid has been so good at just threatening the air earlier in the set, even when Ling was ahead, we're seeing him start to play more grounded, and Quid is just managing to find ways to punish him over and over. However, speaking of punishes, right, Quid getting a little bit antsy, getting caught by that fair, gonna lose his stock for it, and at 91, right, this, uh, PT has all the kill power in the world, right? You can absolutely find the oh, stock, oh, and a wow. miss input from Ling. He wasn't ready. You, no, you don't see that very often at all, Momo. I'm gonna, I'm, I, I just wanna talk a little bit about the fact that Ling went to small battlefield and what that means, right? Because in the stage list, we've got Hollow Bastion, which you don't wanna go to, it's great for PT. You got Smashville, you probably don't wanna go to, it's great for PT. Um, 
you probably FD, you maybe Kalo like Quid definitely banned Kalos and probably banned FD. Um you don't want to take PT to Triplat, you don't want to take him to Hollow Bastion or Smashville. So your options are, are and, and honestly the way the fact that Ling went to small battlefield suggests to me that the the third ban was actually PS2. And so <clears throat> so we were, what we saw is that Ling doesn't have the larger amount of space he wants to work with, or those high platforms that allow him to just kind of float camp you out with the lead like he loves to do. That combined with, especially that game, a little bit of some some uncharacteristic flubs on defense from Ling, and Quinn might have found himself a way back into this game as we go back to Battlefield for game number four. Oh yeah, definitely. Ling feeling a little bit more comfortable here going back into the Battlefield stage. 30% already on Quid and looking to drag it up even more. Quid just run around these platforms like trying to, like whack a mole, like trying to find an opening right now. Down to, oh wow, nice DI out from Ling. Yeah, now we'll find his combo just yet. Backers coming out to dash tag. Big flow coming out from Ling, getting himself all the way out of that corner. Ling is just, man, the, the way he, he, like I talked about this earlier with player for right? The way this guy uses movement on Peach makes Peach look like Fox. Oh my god, no, it's incredible, right? His ability to microspace with float, just fade something back, punish you, and then find a whole combo off of it is absolutely incredible. Well, his movement with Peach, I think, is, is some of the, you know, is, is maybe the best in the world. Well, Quid, though, finding the coast-to-coast -coast only, it only oh! takes one catch, and Momo, that was... 60%! He got hit with the Jersey Shore. Good night, sweet prince. Yes, he did. Oh, well, in theory, I understand this battlefield pick because it allows you those mix-ups, right? You can you can threaten go to platform, you can threaten go back to stage, side platform, top platform. It also allows if you get a lead to maybe, you know, get a little bit of a high float camp going, but again, Ivy Sword right able to threaten that. And now another oh, Vine Whip. Please. And it feels like Quid is starting to really figure out Ling here. And that's incredibly impressive, right? Ling is one of the best at adapting in, in I mean, in the world, right? Yeah. Like he downloads people. And so the fact that we're seeing Quid out adapt him this hard is just absolutely absurd. If Quid takes a stock, I mean, I mean, this is, this is getting out of hand for Ling. Oh my gosh, down throw is still not going to do it just this time. Squid looking to close out. Oh my god, yeah, Link's not making that. Oh, he yes, he, he, had, he had his jump. He went around the world. Oh, but there he goes. Around yeah. the world, not going to do very much. It doesn't for you. matter because Razor Leaf combos into Vine Whip. That's going to take the stock. And the falling Nair in neutral. Quid feeling a little saucy. That is not a good option at all. But racking on 50% and another advantage state from him. He's got Link at the ledge. But Ling just able to threaten so much with that float. Finding his way back to stage for a second. Quid, though, keeping the juggle on Momo. And it just, like, Ling hasn't been able to find any space to work with at all until he finds that fair. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Quid coming back on with the Razor Leaf into a fair. Oh, three okay. stocks to one. Look, maybe the two stock. Finding that grab, the back throw, not going to do it just yet. Ling hanging on here. Quid going all the way out there. The Nair is looking like it's going to close it out, and it will. Very good stuff. Uh, Quid finding a three uh, stock. Yeah, hold on. What? Yeah, um, um, what? Uh, hold on. We've got a set on our hands, ladies and gentlemen, as we move game into five. game five. Ling, those first two games were dominant. We were like, is this going to be a 3-0? Is this going to be a 3-0? And now, Quid putting his stamp on the set saying, uh, Ling, how many Ultimate Majors have you won? How many Ultimate Majors have you won, Ling? How many Ultimate Majors have I won? Hey, hey man, man, hey, man. He won the Smash Con pre-local. Yeah, but, I mean, yeah, Ling's godlike, but still, right? And going to PS2, I'm really surprised, actually, to see this stage. On paper, it seems like it would really benefit Peach in this matchup, but maybe right the the fact that you can't float underneath it, it gives Ling less recovery mix-ups off stage, means that you know Quid probably okay going here in this situation, especially yeah. with how dominant he was on Viplots earlier. Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, Quid looking very confident right now. Find Razor Leaf into a fight with all the way deep down stage. Yeah. Oh, oh my no. gosh. He's Quid's like, yeah, buddy, you're in my house. You in my yeah, house. This Hey, I am taking that grand winner. Yeah, this is not Shine or anywhere in New England. This is Westchester. This is Quid's hometown. And Ling may be trying to find a corner situation. But Quid not woke up. Anymore, Quid boy. woke up. No, this is, this is not 
uh, you know, depending on who you ask, Connecticut, sometimes outside of Smash, can be considered tri-state, but uh, not not right now, guys. Who, this is, who you ask? This is out of this is out of region. This is as out of region as it gets. And Ling finding, you know, his first real challenge all night. And God damn, uh, Quinn! He thought his way to another three work. stock. Quinn making that Quinn work. Quick work. Quick work. Dude, making that Quinn. Yeah, making right all the dough coming around. I mean, at this point, right, there's a reason they call him Quid Games. It's and I mean, at this point, he looks like he's just Yo, he, he's just messing with Link. If you know, you know the Quid mm -hmm. Games are real, man. Oh, absolutely. And again, right, we're seeing Ivysaur, just the whole the whole game, right? Quid after going down 2-0, kind of said, okay, screw Squirtle, right? I'm I'm I just need I just need my homie, right? I'm Quid Ivysaur for a reason, and he's able to find it. Switch. Finally, we see the Charizard switch coming out, but losing his stock for it immediately, and then right, off, right off the Angel platform, switches right back to Ivysaur. He only needs one Pokemon to beat Link. Oh yeah, his Ivysaur, the Quid Ivysaur, they call him that for a reason. Looking to close this out, Link down a full two stock. We've seen Link make these comebacks. Definitely doable. He's got a little combo oh, yeah. there. Oh yeah, that. Uh, yeah, the in, the immediate jump. From oh yeah. Quid. Good night. Uh, reverse 3-0 alert, baby. Reverse 3 0 making it and look like quick work. Man. Sheesh. Unfortunately, you know, I've seen I've seen Ling here before. I've seen him in losers finals a lot because the thing about he lives CT, in a region with light. Yeah, he he happens to live <laughs> in the same state as light. So, you know, uh, you know, it's 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 not fami unfamiliar territory for him, but really good stuff from Quid. Digging deep, right? Kind of waking up after that first game, yeah. managing to dig deep, find that reverse three zero, and not just not just a reverse three zero, oh, right? Uh, three stock, two stock, like like those were dominant games that oh, he yeah. was winning. Like he, and, and part of that, I think, right? We saw Ling holding f forward a lot yeah. during that set. Ling. Again, as I said, right, getting into it, Link's a player really known for his defensive play, his ability to kind of just drift out, punish you, find an advantage state, and then just convert. Play very patient, control the pace of the game. And that worked on Squirtle, and it worked on Charizard. But Ivysaur happens to have the perfect kind of combination of tools, right? Yeah. You can you can pop with with, with um Razor Leaf, you can kind of pop her, Pop Peach up in the air, and then once she's above you, you got up air, you got Vine Whip. You really control all the space that Peach wants to occupy, and it forces her to play a lot more aggressive than Ling likes because yeah. those disjoints prevent him from just fading back. And I mean, Quid took full advantage. He recognized that all he needed was his Twitter handle to take that set, and I mean, made made full advantage of it. The, the Quid I we saw. Pulling through, good stuff to him. Moving on to Grand's winner side. We still got a couple more banger sets, but yes, unfortunately, we do. I guess the both of my carpool needs to get the fuck out of here.